Let's do some transfers! What you see here is a DIY version of a stove box. It's just a plastic tub and we drilled two holes into one of the sides to put our arms through to get some work done. It's easy to build and it's a relatively inexpensive way to minimize contamination when doing jar to bag transfers for your mushroom spawn. The purpose of having a still box is that you can create a small space within the container that has minimal air movement and you can easily disinfect everything inside that space. Let's do a jar to bag transfer. Wear the gloves, sanitize everything, and gather your materials your rye grain jars, sterilized grow bags, alcohol, and zip ties. It's important to sanitize the crevice between the lid and the glass jar space and to also sanitize the opening of the grow bags just to make sure everything is as clean as possible, especially during this transfer process. In order to minimize contamination, make sure you do your best to not let the jar touch the tops of the grow bag. And remember to zip tie the tippy tops of the bags. Because I am inoculating the grow bags with the same mushroom variety, spills happen and that's okay. Our pressure cooker can accommodate four of these grow bags, and so that's what we have here. Um, some of them I inoculated using two jars worth of spawn, and some just received one jar worth of spawn. Um, all that means is that the bag with more spawn will fully colonize much faster. That's all. After your bag transfers are completed, last step is to mix it all up. The bags are pretty sturdy, so they can handle being tossed around a bit. Make sure that the rye grain spawn is thoroughly enmeshed and mixed in to its new medium. Toss and turn uh, need <laughs> just do a good job mixing it all up given you've come this far just don't break the bags label and date your spawn bags and place them in a warm dark area about 75 to 77 degree Fahrenheit and your bags should be colonized within 7 to 14 days check this out Another option to multiply your spawn supply is to do a jar to jar transfer before they go into the bags. One thing to note is that this may increase the likelihood of contamination and that's simply because the more transfers you do, the chances are some bacteria might find its way in. Our jar-to-jar -jar transfers helped us inoculate our backyard garden beds. Check out our Fungi Adventures playlist on our YouTube channel and see if it worked.